side effects of steroids. So one by one, we will see what are the effects, users side effects. Number one, what is the effect on glucose? It's an important effect on glucose. See guys, what can they cause to glucose? Number one, steroids, they decrease GLUT4 production. You know, steroids, they act upon nuclear receptor. They switch off the genes for GLUT4 production. Now, if there is a decreased GLUT4 production, what happens in my body? Let us let us see. Let us try to understand. If GLUT4 production decreases, what happens in my limbs? See, my limbs, if GLUT4 production decreases in my limbs, that is, they cannot utilize glucose. They cannot utilize glucose, my limbs, because skeletal muscles, they need GLUT4. And this is why there is an increased lipolysis. So all the fat in the limbs, they are gone. So limbs, they become thin because of lipolysis. Whereas what happens in my blood? See, what happens in my blood? Because GLUT4 production decreases, there would be an increased glucose. Increased glucose means what? There would be an increased insulin. So there would be always a condition of hyperinsulinemia. What insulin does in your body, it blocks an enzyme called as HSL, hormone-sensitive lipase, which is, which is responsible for lipolysis in your uh, trunk part. So there is block of hormone-sensitive lipase or block of lipolysis, which will cause trunkal obesity so you can see here how the patient looks like trunkal obesity limbs are thin this is also known as lemon on stick appearance that is seen in Cushing's disease or syndrome plus there is a hump called as buffalo hump now, the reason why these are seen is because of this. Plus, long-term use of steroids can cause diabetes mellitus. So, if your patient already has diabetes and you are starting the patient on steroids, let us say for COVID, you have to monitor the blood glucose and adjust the dose of insulin or whatever drugs the patient is on for the time being. So, this is the effect on glucose, right? Second, Steroids, they can increase calcium excretion and because of which steroids can be used for treatment of uh, treatment of hypercalcemia. Right, but use of steroids, they can cause osteoporosis because of decreased calcium, they can cause osteoporosis. Number three, what is the effect of calcium on your musculoskeletal system? Now, one I've told you, they cause osteoporosis. Apart from that, they act upon your muscles. They can cause myopathy as well as growth retardation in children. They can cause growth retardation in children. Number four. Number four. Uh, what is the effect on the eye? Guys, because of their anti-inflammatory effect, they are used for ocular inflammatory disorders like uveitis, retinitis, choroiditis, but, 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 they are contraindicated in herpetic keratitis. Because if I use steroids in herpetic keratitis, they can cause clouding of the cornea. They can cause clouding of cornea. Now guys, remember, side effect of steroids if i use systemic steroids for long term like oral 
then they can cause cataract steroids they cause posterior subcapsular cataract you learn this in opta as well causes of posterior subcapsular cataract and if topical steroids are used for a long period of time they end up causing glaucoma right number 5 what do they cause in gid see because of a decreased prostaglandin synthesis they will remove the mucosal barrier of the stomach and in the git they can cause ulcer ulcer that is stomach ulcer right or gastric ulcer can be seen so this is one precaution we have to take while while giving steroids i must i must give ppis as well to prevent this ulcer right what is the effect of steroids on the cns they have bad effect guys they can cause depression insomnia psychosis etc can be seen because of their action on cns or central nervous system number 7 apart from this where else steroids can act guys they can act upon your skin here they can act upon your skin and here they can cause thinning thinning of skin and hair so hair loss can be seen because of thinning here hairs can easily break down skin because of thinning of hair i um, mean skin you'll have multiple bruises can be seen on the body plus there would be multiple stries would be seen which we call as stretch marks in layman's language these are stries that can be seen on the skin and hair number 8 what is the effect in pregnancy so guys we use steroids in pregnancy for surfactant maturation and for surfactant maturation we use either dexamethasone or betamethasone now the dose we are going to use my target is 24 mg in 48 hours 24 mg in 48 hours is to be given i can give either dexamethasone or i can give betamethasone now d it is the fourth alphabet fourth alphabet b is the second alphabet which means what four doses are given here two doses are given so just imagine how can i give four doses 24 mg in 48 hours four doses four doses 6 mg each dose 6 mg each dose how many hours every 12 hours that comes out to be 24 mg in 48 hours two doses 12 mg each dose would be 12 mg every 24 hours so guys remember this my aim at the end of the day is to give 24 mg in 48 hours how i give that is what it depends right so these are this is a news that is very commonly asked in pregnancy number 9 guys uh they have steroids they do have anti anti neoplastic effect anti neoplastic effect or anti cancer effect so they are mostly used in leukemia and lymphoma i've covered the uses of steroids in leukemia and lymphoma in the section of anti cancer drugs steroids they have anti emetic effect as well what is the mechanism i don't know i don't know means it's not that there is a mechanism and i don't know there is unknown the mechanism is unknown so dexamethasone it can be used for treatment of chemo induced nausea and vomiting and its role is as add on drug remember it is not the drug of choice of first line drug finally guys we'll come down to 
the most important effect and uh, what do you know these steroids are for guys steroids they have anti inflammatory and immuno suppressive effects they have anti inflammatory and immuno suppressive effect and both are related to your immune system so what is the mechanism of action for both it is same that is they decrease production of inflammatory mediators like interleukin 1 interleukin 6 tnf alpha they increase production of anti inflammatory they increase production of anti inflammatory mediators like interleukin 10 and annexin 1 these are anti inflammatory mediators apart from this they also steroids they also induce lymphocyte apoptosis directly as well as redistribution from the site of inflammation so they have a wide range of action guys steroids are things which have multiple actions in our body and that is why they are so beneficial if used appropriately right so here because of these we can have users which are of two types inflammatory condition autoimmune condition so inflammatory condition where can i use steroids important ones remember i can use them in rheumatoid arthritis gout psoriasis these are all inflammatory conditions so i can use them in rheumatoid arthritis gout psoriasis vasculitis these are inflammatory disorders where i can use it i can use it in autoimmune disorders like autoimmune hemolytic anemia itp immune thrombocytopenic purpura um myasthenia gravis multiple sclerosis gvhd graft versus host disease guys you don't need to mug up the users be smart whenever i teach you something be smart all these users will discuss in medicine ortho everywhere but what nobody is going to teach you is the mechanism so from pharma remember this mechanism users you will read everywhere right finally guys so this anti inflammatory and immuno suppressive effect finally 12 remember whenever i talk about infections in infections steroids are usually contraindicated because they'll worsen it but there are few few exception some types of infection here steroids are life saving like h influenza meningitis covid pneumonia which is either moderate to severe there we use steroids and even steroids are life saving drugs this mcq has been asked in our exams which is the only drug to decrease mortality in covid your answer is steroids right and in covid if they ask you decrease in mortality your best answer would be steroid if steroid is not in the option then go for lmwh is my second best answer because lmwh because there is hypercoagulation and that can also prevent mortality but the best answer is steroid in this particular segment <laughs>